Ugh. For today's video, will I take this off? No, I feel like a slag. My humongous snockers. Today's video, it's around 3 p.m. I got up around an hour ago, got ready, and I just felt fucking motivated to do something. So here I am for a video, there. I'm gonna be doing a witchcraft video. Thought I might as well give it a shot, give it a go. Today's obviously a full, mo full moon, and usually we do a cosmic ordering or like moon worship where you wish for things that you want. Then you do your moon worship. To switch things up a bit, I'm gonna be doing a divine sexual energy spell, just because nothing else to do, might as well fucking try it out. I have I've tried a love spell before and a week later I got with my second boyfriend. I didn't think there was any correlation with it but now I'm like since I'm a witch maybe it did that's how I did it. Now I'm not going to be doing a love spell this time around. I'm finding myself getting the ick very easily so this year is all about me. It's the year of casual sex. Bring back casual sex please. I'm going to be curating a list of people that I want to have sex with and then doing a spell and then see where it takes me. I mean it's not like famous people people like two people on the list I've had sex with already before so then it's like I'm not even going to be disappointed because I'm, I know what to expect. Two of them live in different countries, so that's probably the most two unrealistic ones. But you know, you never know what could happen. There, yeah, there's no one famous on the list like Timothy Shalamabu or fucking Dave Franco or whatever. Uh, what? I bought myself flowers yesterday as well. Stunning. I think I'm going to... The main power I think that I have is ha like practicing self-acceptance because no one's gonna want to have sex with you if you don't even like yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. Would you have sex with yourself? I mean genuinely. Would you look at yourself and think, I have sexual capabilities? Otherwise this isn't gonna work. You're gonna have to write fucking sticky notes on your mirror telling yourself you're a sexy cunt. You're gonna have to put loads of tan on. I mean, do what you want, obviously, but that's usually what I do. Do your makeup, whatever you have to do. Bleach your hair. I don't give a fuck. Pierce your nipples. That's what I've been doing for the month. You know, working on myself, finding my independence. Now that I would have sex with myself, I look at myself and think, fuck, yes, give it to me. The perfect time to curate my sex list for when quarantine is over. I think it's just a good organizing tactic. Making a to-do list, check, and you just feel so productive. I'm sick of making to other to-do lists. They're all so boring. This is the best to-do list I've ever made. I can't handle any sort of commitment at the moment. I'm being honest and upfront about it. My sexuality and what I want. I don't want a relationship. Being hurt again? I don't think so. Heartbreak? Never heard of her. Destigmatizing casual sex. All around having a good time. Being a sexy legend? That's basically what this video is all about. So I have me crystals, girls. I have me fucking candles ready. I have me lists. Sticky notes. It's gonna be fantastic. Can't wait. Beautiful out of the day for the L witchcraft. Sex magic. What is this? I'm into it. Come on, where's the spells? Oh, you can cast a spell with your orgasm. So like if someone has sex with you, that's fucking legendary. Tips from a sex magic practitioner. Six powerful sex spells that actually work. Oh, I think you do these while you have sex. Uh, oh, you actually have to climax. So I'm gonna have to like wank. I might just make one up then. I'm gonna make up my own spell, everyone. Also, I'd like to mention, I don't have a men are trash complex at all. I know sometimes after a breakup, you can be like, all men are trash, but I don't. I actually love them a lot. I enjoy their company and I enjoy having sex with them. So that's why I'm doing this. But it's just that I'm not, I'm not doing a love spell because I don't want to be in a relationship anytime soon and I'm scared of the power of my own my own mind so that could actually happen if I did that so I'm gonna make up my own spell oh my god this is so exciting so for the spell sorry my fucking tits oh, for the spell I made I just I completely just pulled it out of my ass I don't know if this even is a thing I was trying to make it funny sex with me sex with me all of ye have sex with me something like that but it actually has to kind of make sense so it's just one two three bring to me divine sexual energy Poetic genius. It's like five people. <laughs> Is that a lot? But two have already had sex with, so that doesn't really count. So it's actually three. Yeah, gonna make a list and burn and just w burn it off like a white candle. It says a red candle for all, all the loved ones, but I don't want all these people to fall in love with me. That's just black magic. Not into that. If anyone's wondering what tan I'm wearing, it's Bella Mianta. I tanned myself last night and I woke up in the morning and I was like, one of my legs is way darker than the other. And I forgot to actually put tan on one of my legs. Idiot! Manifest, manifesting affirmations. Okay, so the first affirmation is, I love everyone and everyone loves me. I like that one. I attract loving, no, I'm not gonna do that. I attract loving relationships easily. Pass, I'm a magnet to my soulmate. Now pass, my heart's desires are perfect and the universe says yes to all of them. Yeah, I like that one. My heart is ready for true love. Pass, gonna do, oh my God, imagine I like printed out pictures of them and put them all over my room. And then when they actually came over to have sex, I just like had a shrine to all of them. I'd say witches somewhere do that. I'd say that's an actual thing. Imagine you went to someone's house and there's pictures of you all over their room. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look up some self-love and I'm gonna write out these affirmations on sticky notes and stick them all over my room to fuck. No one can stop me. Oh no, Cardi Levine and Ashley Benson just broke up. 
shit balls. Okay, we'll be back soon. It's loving yourself season queens. Anyway, 100% sexy corn. So that's probably where I get all my confidence from. Just from that one sticky note on my mirror. And also, I got this little current from Laura Duffy. So nice. I don't know where to put it though. On my mirror? Or will I put it there on my wall? There is kind of a blank spot. I think I'll put it on my wall. And you know when you look at someone's Instagram and she's talking about the business and how she's like filling orders, it just makes me so happy because she's doing something that she likes. And every time I watch it, I'm like, oh my God, you're so happy. It's so nice to see. She's doing amazing. I'll leave her Instagram handle down below if anyone wants to get one of her prints. Sticky notes, okay. <laughs> I have my affirmations on a sticky note on my mirror and I have my sex list here on a sticky note. Vibes though. I can't believe I'm a witch. This is so much fun. I feel like I've had some sort of internalized misogyny. Well, every person has sort of an internalized misogynist, misogynistic voice in the back of their mind, in the subconscious mind created by the patriarchy. I think my internalized misogynist was like always oh, slagging shit like this, like astrology. Religion though, why are we not gonna talk about that? Like this shit doesn't cause oppression or like isn't homophobic. I don't know, I'm, it's making me happy. And I think that's all that matters. Even if it's not real or not, I don't give a fuck. Sure, we believed in Santa for years. That was created by capitalism. This isn't harming anyone or wasting my money. Just a little explanation. But I'm just gonna do this sex spell now because it's something I feel like I need to do on my own. But it's kind of windy mode, so I'm gonna have to get a jumper on. Also, I'd like to mention thanks to everyone who supports my OnlyFans. Even the girls that are there, not even for the sexy shit, but just there in general to support. But honestly, I really don't don't need like I don't need it if you know what I mean like I don't want you to subscribe to support me because I'd rather you buy yourself a vibrator or something like save your money for something nice for yourself like spend it on yourself don't mind me I'm grand okay guys but my OnlyFans if anyone is there for the sexy shit my OnlyFans will be in my bio so I'm grand buy yourself something nice today on me oh my god I have a condom that would be good for the ritual too let's see where it is oh and a lollipop that's great sexual energy so this isn't vegan though this is just one that I bought for one of my sisters because I don't want them to have an unexpected pregnancy. I do recommend Hank's condoms. They're vegan, sustainable, compostable. So I'll leave those into the, the description if you want to get sustainable condoms, but this isn't vegan. So I won't actually probably be using this. Well, it depends. If in an emergency, it's in my bag and I'll have a lollipop, fuck it. Just to treat myself. Real sexual energy. <laughs> so this is it. This is the setup, everyone. I have the list here on my leg, but can't reveal the names. I'm gonna put the list with the names cropped out on my close friends and actually send whoever guesses all of them, I'll send them 50 euro. Like it's a bit ambiguous. Some of the, some of the names like don't even make sense, if you know what I mean. I put up the setup on my story. Oh shit. I put up the setup on my story and I feel like everyone's gonna think I'm gone crazy. I have gone a bit crazy, but hasn't everyone? Cheers. Step one, I'm gonna have to chant all the names so I won't record that part, obviously. And then I'll do the spell and light the shit, so. Okay. Chant names done. One, two, three, come to me, divine sexual energy. One, two, three, come to me, divine sexual energy. One, two, three, come to me, divine sexual energy. Legendary. Oh shit, ah, woo! That burnt up good. I don't want to toot my own horn here, but I just did it there. Put a funny picture on my story. I'll leave it here. No explanation. And two people who were on the list replied. Which equals confirmed. Oh my god, this is so fun! Think of how many other things I could do with this. Cheese. Me and Elle are gonna go live on Instagram because lots of people wanted us to for the thing. So we're just writing out our cosmic orderings now. Basically how I do it, I just say thank you universe for and then list out stuff that I want because then it makes it as if that you already have it and then you have your date at the top and then you say, then I sign my name at the end. People do it in different ways so you can kind of just do it whatever way you want. But yeah, I'll bring you outside for when we do it. I just burn a candle and then look up at the moon and do like breathing and then set it on fire. That's it. So this is the setup there. We're gonna burn these, there are lists in the candle. We're gonna go live now as well. Say hi. hi. <laughs> we're gonna burn our shits. No, we're waiting I'm for 11 I made a gin and tonic. Oh, sorry, we're waiting for 11 11. What time is it now? 11 05, okay, that's grand. Okay, it's 11 11 now, everyone. Let's do it. Okay. So, wait, should we read a little line? Yeah, first? do. No, mine's so crazy. Just no, one, just one. Okay, I will deepen my connection with the people around me. Uh, affection and intimacy. <laughs> Casual sex. Casual, casual, casual sex. Casual sex. So look at the moon. Oh, you're a dirty you're bitch. You're a fucking slut. You're, you're a slag. You're, you're slag. slag. You're so dirty and yeah. sexy and I just She's literally tear that asshole. Yeah, I would tear the moon up. Ellie. Uh, 
Uh, and then you chant uh, if you're doing it uh, like, ideally uh, it's leap. ideal in a group of three because then that's considered a coven D D oh, throw it over this way this way this way <laughs> <laughs> throw it that's good that's good uh, Lee. Uh, sorry Lee. it's my ass uh, <laughs> okay now my turn everyone Keelan 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 great burn off this as well Ali not gonna oh lie oh my god that's class Keelan Keelan Moon Thank you. That was so good. Happy cosmic ordering, everyone. That was fantastic. Thanks. I feel amazing already.